Hello, I am Dr. Prashant Subramanian, Medical Director, Emerging Asia and India at Abbott Diabetes Care. Pregnancy is filled with many milestones such as picking the baby's name, planning the nursery and feeling the baby's kick. But preparing for the glucose tolerance test can raise some questions. So today I'll take you through what is gestational diabetes and in this video we'll try to understand the symptoms, bust some myths and also learn some tips to manage this condition better uh, so that both you and the baby have a healthy and happy outcome. To better understand the condition, let's begin by uh, what is gestational diabetes. So diabetes is a condition where uh, the body becomes resistant to the action of a hormone called insulin, which essentially moves glucose from blood to the cells. In pregnancy, this is part of the physiology in that the insulin action is ineffective, thereby leading to insulin resistance. And this leads to the diagnosis of gestational diabetes. So why shouldn't it be ignored? While pregnancy can be overwhelming with several other medications being started, doctor visits and medical decisions, it could lead to complications during pregnancy. It can also increase the risk of type 2 diabetes later on in life for the mother, thereby increasing the risk of cardiovascular complications. So it's best to ensure that um, all pregnant mothers are tested for gestational diabetes and if yes, the condition needs to be managed better. A few symptoms which could be experienced by mothers could be frequent urination, nausea, thirst, tiredness and blood vision. The treating physician or the obstetrician may want to uh, run some tests including some blood sugar tests or a glucose tolerance test. It's important to note that early detection is key so that the condition can be managed better uh, with better outcomes for both the mother as well as the child. How do we manage the condition? So a few tips which could come handy is um, creating a healthy carb strategy. So we need to swap out the refined food, stick to whole foods and try to spread out the carb content across meals throughout the day. We could consider eating small meals uh, throughout the day, staying active. If you've been active before pregnancy, then sticking to the same routine as much as possible. Of course, after discussing the routine with your doctor always helps. We need to keep an eye on blood sugar levels. And this is where glucose monitoring is key. The role of continuous glucose monitoring, which essentially makes use of a sensor, which helps track the blood glucose levels across the day without the need for multiple finger pricks. This could come handy as well. You need to share your diagnosis of gestational diabetes further on with your clinician so that the uh, doctor is also aware that you may also be at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. After we've gone through all this, um, let's bust some myths related to gestational diabetes. So it's, it isn't permanent, it's specific to the condition, though there seems to be a risk uh, in developing type 2 diabetes later on in life. While hereditary transmission is a risk factor, but it's not always the norm. And um, extra weight increases the risk of uh, developing type 2 diabetes. Even women who are underweight or within a healthy body mass index can also uh, develop gestational diabetes. I hope all this was informational for all of you. And um, a few of your questions would have been answered. Please consult your doctor wherever needed and wishing you all moms a very happy and a healthy pregnancy. Stay safe.